Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, I don't know how many of these stupid OxyClean containers I have, but I have to do something with them. So join me for what I'm making. So the first thing I did was take some um, paint stirrers, cut them down, painted them white, and then distressed. Then I took some of these puffy round stickers from the Dollar Tree and I just put some paint on them. And then I glued each, like one for each of these little sticks. So I have two of those sticks. Perfect. Then I take the OxyClean container and I glue on the um, jute rope. And I think it's like three packages from the Dollar Tree is what I used. Um, and so just go all the way around. Just keep going around and around, gluing as you go. Um, and I wasn't worried about when I ran out of one, just add it to the next one, it's fine. And then this is the end part. And I just went right to the end of this. Easy peasy, perfect. And this is the end. And then I just made sure to glue and make sure that that end part was really down. Next, I took a skewer and cut it down and I have these little wood beads and look at, oh my God. Now, if you know what I'm making, I'm making like a little cart and look at this is going to be the wheel and that looks like the little peg thing and the, I can't even, it's so cute. I have these spools that I had from ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I just paint them all black. I'm using a chalk paint for that. Then I put a little bit of glue inside the hole for that um, bead and I put that piece of um, skewer inside. So there's that. How exciting, right? And then I put some glue on that and then I glue it to the center of the spool. Look at we've got a wheel. Yay! And of course, I have to distress it because hello, that's what I do. <laughs> and then I glue it to my container. There's that. And I do one on for each side. Then I take the handles and I glue one on each side here. And then once that was all dry, I take a piece of homespun, but you don't have to use homespun. You can use any cool fabric you wanted. And I just fan it out. I think this is probably an inch and a half to two inches wide for the fabric. And then I put a dot of glue on my, um, I don't know, container. And I'm just crisscrossing these two. I know it sounds crazy, but watch and see. It'll make sense in a minute. Um, so I glue a little bit on that side and cross those. And then I take some jute and I go in between. So there's a little space where there's no glue. I put the jute in through there and then I just tie it in a double knot. I left the um, jute a little bit long. So it, just because I think it looks pretty, you don't have to do that, but there's that. Then I make a messy bow and there's that little space that's open and I glue the messy bow on top of that. I just, I love this messy bow. I just can't get enough. <laughs> well, there's that. And then I just roll it around and look at, put some flowers in it and ta-da! I hope you enjoy. 